WPS 500 looking at exhaust gas pulsations. So this is probably one of the least intrusive tests that you can carry out, but one that carries so much information about how the engine is performing. Let's run the animation. So here we have a four cylinder engine. And of course we've got contribution to exhaust gas pulsations from combustion. And we're going to apply the pressure transducer into the tailpipe. So again, switch on the pressure transducer and allow it to calibrate. So switching on, make sure the test port is open to atmosphere. We calibrate in all three ranges. And for this test, we are going to want range three and zoom one, because we can zoom using the transducer. Place the transducer into the tailpipe and secure, and then start the engine. And we're looking for uniformity within the exhaust gas pulsations. And we can see there, nothing really steps out of line. Now let's have a look at a misfire or combustion anomaly. So on cylinder two there, we don't have a combustion event. We don't have a spark or injected fuel, whatever it may be. Now that is going to disrupt the pulsations within the exhaust. And to synchronize on cylinder one will allow us to identify where the anomaly within the exhaust pulsation or how the anomaly in the pulsation relates to engine running condition in the misfire. Let's have a closer look at the waveform. Here we have the waveform that we captured right at the end of the animation, where we added a current clamp around ignition coil number one. And you can see that in the lower waveform here. So we've got ignition event number one, and then again, 720 degrees later. So in between here, we have the pulsations from the exhaust. And uniformity, again, is everything that we're looking for. And we can see here that we do have quite a deep pull within the exhaust gases. So let's look at the upper waveform in full screen mode. And let's analyze this a bit closer. So this is zoomed on an area 720 degrees. So here we have ignition event number one. Here we'd have number three, number four, number two, and then back to one again. So we see here that we have an event and this negative pull here. We then have like what we call a recovery. Then we have a um, pulsation and another pulsation. Now these would all even out if we didn't have this event here. So what is this event? Well, this is the exhaust event from cylinder number two. It was number two in the animation, if you remember, and number two cylinder uh, was misfiring. So number two will fire at this point here. Remember the firing order is cylinder one, three, four, and two. So at this point, this will be the expansion stroke of cylinder two. Then approximately um, 20, 30 degrees before bottom dead center on the expansion stroke of cylinder two, we will open the exhaust valve. And at that point, we will have a deeper pull within the exhaust because there'll be a different pressure on top of the piston of cylinder two because of the misfire when the exhaust valve opens. So let's think about that for a second. Uh, typically the pressure above the piston will be above atmospheric pressure when the exhaust valve opens where there's been combustion, but there was no combustion on cylinder two. As a result, we get a lower pressure or a negative pressure pulse within the exhaust system. That results in a pull that we see here, which is seen as a deep pocket within the exhaust. And then that repeats over and over again. So if we just close the zoom, let's exit full screen mode, close the zoom and close this view. You can see that there. There's that deep pull, then a recovery, pulsation, pulsation, and again, a deep pull. So this pulsation here, this pull in the exhaust system as, as a result of the misfire on cylinder two. Possibly the least intrusive WPS pressure transducer test you can carry out is measuring exhaust gas pulsations, yet it's one that yields a wealth of information regarding the engine running condition from both a combustion and mechanical perspective.